Okay, go. Hey, what's going on? It's Derek here. Uh, I know it's been a while, but that's why today I'm here to teach you a hop. Can you come down? I, there's a guy name as well. That's why I'm here to teach you a special Halloween cocktail drink recipe. And also in honor of the new James Bond film, No Time to Die. And I have a special guest here with me today, helping me with the tutorial. It is my friend Cass. But you may, but today he is, where are you? Tiger King. Today he is the Tiger King. Joe Exotic from Tiger King. All right. This is our cocktail zone. Awesome. This is, so for the gin martini, we're gonna definitely have the martini glass. You wanna hold this, cats? Of course, the gin. This is uh, a good gin that my friend gave me. I'm not really sure the brand. Martini olives, these are essential when it comes to making martinis. I mean, if you see any James Bond movie, he always has the olive. Uh, we have the shaker. Uh, these just kind of mix up the alcohol. It always just looks cool when you shake it. The assorted food color and egg dye. This is basically so we can get like a spooky uh, orange or red color for mm. our drink. Today, we're gonna have cats maybe make the drink, you know? I'm gonna maybe sit this one out and oh, maybe do some filming. Uh, I, I remember I told you that you'd be making one. I was telling you, hey, I'm sober for eight weeks. I understand that, but honestly, I didn't you being sober, I mean, you can make you can make a you drink. You said it was for filming something, you didn't say anything about alcohol, it's just a, Yeah, it's a tutorial a, video, it's not, a, for me. it's not a drinking video. All right, I'll just make it. Okay. Okay. What? Cass is going to be making our drink, our gin martini. Do you want to refer to me as Joey? No. So here we are. So Cass, may maybe run us through our first part. All right, well, I'm, you didn't told me how to do it, but I assume you just start with the gin or the olives. You could start with anything, bro. I'll start with the gin. Yeah, maybe put the gin in oh, you put the shaker. In yeah, that's kind of basic so, 101 martini making. So he is pouring the gin. Go a little bit more. Okay. I'm just gonna do all of it. Not all of it. That's that's good. No, wait, wait. So maybe so usually you do is vermouth for this part, but I happen to be out of vermouth right now. Mm. So but it is always good to use a little bit of the uh, martini juice. The just olives. the olive olive juice, yeah. Usually just drink, just uh, a little bit. Like you can do more than that, come on. Alright, that's good. Okay. All right, so that is, shaking is one of the most important parts about making a martini, whether it be vodka or gin, mainly because it mixes it's up all the alcohol cold. that's this so is it with, cold. yeah, it's, there's icing. Well, so at least to give it at least 15 seconds. Okay, well, I'm sure it's mixed it's so up. Cold. Okay. Not that cold. Um, I'll try holding it for more than half a one, second. Two, okay. Now is the pouring part. Yeah. You, you think you... Do I think I can pour it? Yeah, do you think you, you got it? Yeah. Is it too cold? So, what do I do? I pour it with the... No, you don't pour like that. There's a little cap right there. Pouring a martini is my favorite part. All right, go pour. Because... Slower. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Maybe a little bit more. Pouring martini is my favorite part. Oh, that's good. Pouring martini is my favorite part because this is this is kind of like the payoff of it, all the work that you just put in. And it just looks badass. That's great. Yeah. Okay. All right, now it is time to get spooky with our martini. Uh, Cass, I'm gonna have you just kind of, I'll give you the honors so you can. All right, let's do it. So today we're gonna, um, so you guys are actually moving forward with it? Yeah, we're moving forward with it. We're putting the house on the market next month. And I just felt like this is something I needed to do for myself and my daughter. Are you filming this? This isn't live, is it? No, that's not live. I can, I can just edit this part out. Yeah, edit that part out. All right, here we are with our food dye. And Cass is gonna show us how to make this nice orange spooky uh, martini. Well, I have a young daughter, so I know a little bit, I know a little something about mixing colors to make other colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
drops of red and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine drops of orange. It's not meant to draw on the table, I'm not. And we'll just mix it up with something. Um, you want me to just use my keys? I guess that's better than your finger. Look at that, this is a spooky cocktail. What is this, cats? That's a spoo has one spooky cocktail. All right, give it give it the final touches, you know. That's the olive? Yep, the olive. This is what makes a gin martini a martini. This is... One olive? Uh, let's do two, all right. Okay, try not... Two olives, this is the James Bond trick. All right, so kind of top it off, cats. Boom. There you go. All right, and here she is. This is the final product. This is the this is Derek's uh, Halloween. You know what badass. What is if you have dry ice? Because dry ice. You know how it like uh, smokes and stuff, uh -huh. and then you can even say something like, "Okay, now for the ice on the cake, or the icing on the cake, or whatever." Dry icing. Dry ice. Man, but Right, so you guys thought we were done, but um, I had this great idea that maybe the cocktail drink could have some dry ice, which I'm out of at the moment, so we're gonna take a trip to the store. Can you hold this here? Can you Turn around to show that's pulling into Smart and Vital real quick. COVID hit? Yeah. And I and then, still, uh, still had it. You're just sitting around. All right. It's yeah, like you're not going to buy it. another one. <laughs> you know? I'd, I'd like to. Yeah, right? But why? Okay. And All right, cool, man. Nice meeting you. So this is Smart and Final. Might be in the uh, ice section, right? Definitely. So ice would be in the frozen, yeah? It's like a machine or not a machine, but like a big uh, cooler. It's like a cooler, right? Do you have dry ice? Like a, as long as your lips don't touch it, you know. Then just that fuel. Yeah, I'll take the car. So you want a whole block? Yeah, uh, yeah. Did you get this car? Nice. Still stronger. I don't know about that. Actually, cash. It's two percent cash back on everything. Nice. Got that dry ice. Okay. Yeah. Got that dry ice. Say a little bit louder. Got that dry ice. But maybe without the mask. I got that dry ice. All right, here we are. Okay, so cats pour the drink. So as you know, this is the this is the cocktail that we made back at my place. And now for the icing, or should I say the dry icing on the cake? Dry the dry ice on the cake. Dry icing on the cake. That's what I said. Do you want to do the honor? Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to just touch it though. Um. You have like tongs or something? Yeah, I guess I'm in the glove compartment. Really? You have tongs in your glove compartment. So now I'm gonna need you to just Ooh. get broken up like that. And take a chunk. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, I don't think you're supposed to use metal. No, you can. Okay, so I'm not gonna burn you. Alright, put it on the ground. Case. Put it on the ground. Okay, so this. Okay, so go ahead and put it in. Okay. Oh my god, Look at that. dude. That is the spooky drink. That this is isn't that sick? That's so sick. So Derek's dude, Halloween. That is insane. I know, and it's gonna taste. Look at that. Like I said, I don't really oh, know. Hey, you too, buddy. This is crazy. This is a, yeah, this is crazy. This is the guy, the other tiger. Derek's guy. Halloween special cocktail drink, the gin. 
All right, then that's a wrap for Derek's spooky martini drink. I hope you guys learned a thing or two through this tutorial and uh, <laughs> yeah.